From a federal government standpoint, what we have been doing is making increased investments in manufacturing, which has meant good jobs locally as well as across the country. For example, our investments in the Ford plant right here in Oakville uh, has been very positive for unionized workers and the plant as a whole in terms of moving the vehicle production to an EV standpoint. Uh, so that's definitely a highlight of 2023. Further investments in healthcare and in particular dental care. We are rolling out a national dental care program uh, for seniors now. That means that they are entitled to have dental care. This is monumental. No government in the history of our country has done that uh, until this point. And so that is definitely something that goes down in the books as something to be remembered. And then thirdly, I would say our continuing work uh, to make sure that we are addressing housing shortages. We have spent already in Halton $76 million to build 131 affordable rental units on Bronte and Kerr Streets. And we need to continue to work with the town and across uh, the area to ensure that affordable housing exists. I know there's some conversations going on right now on this point uh, between Minister Fraser and Mayor Burton. And so we'll look forward to further, uh, further work in this area. So all of those things have been uh, put in place and kind of got the their start in 2023. Looking forward, though, uh, to 2024, over the next 12 months, um, those stay there. But what do you see as you know new priorities for the federal government and for you locally in 2024? So as a minister, you may know that I'm undertaking a spending review to ensure that we, as a government, deal very prudently with taxpayer dollars. And I will be working to ensure that we save $15 billion over the next five years and $4 billion every year thereafter, because making sure that we are accountable to taxpayers is first and foremost an important job of the president of the Treasury Board. And from a local standpoint, of course, uh, we need to keep delivering on dental care, on housing, on the green economy, and on environmental uh, sustainability. And I know that's very important to Oakville residents because I speak with them when we go door knocking and when I'm out and about in the community, and those are the priorities that we'll continue to deliver on. All right. A lot of what you've talked about, it's their large issues. They're not going to be solved within one calendar exactly. year. And that wasn't what I was asking there, but I yeah. will ask that with this particular question. My okay. final question, if there is one issue, uh, one thing, one agenda that by the time we speak next year at this time, you want to have signed, sealed, delivered and done. It's a great question, uh, Jason, because as you know, our tablet is full in terms of the mandates uh, and the mandate commitments that we want to get off the ground. Uh, but by this time next year, I would love to see greater uh, cooperation in terms of public safety and ensuring that we are addressing the issue relating to the theft of vehicles that is on the rise across Halton and across the country. So I'll be working very closely with Minister LeBlanc on that issue, the Minister of Public Safety, because I know that here in Halton, uh, people are very worried about the safety, not only of their vehicles, but of our streets and our homes.